This video, we're discussing what you should do if you've been diagnosed with hypertensive nephropathy, that's high blood pressure, kidney disease. That's what we're discussing. And this is uh, one of the leading causes of kidney failure in the United States is because you don't always get a lot of symptoms, also called the silent killer. So if you got diagnosed, hopefully it's in an earlier stage. And what you want to do is you want to make sure to take all the medications. Now, I'm Robert Galarowitz, a naturopath, nutritionist, 19 years with a transplant. People sometimes are surprised to hear me to say to take meds because I'm a natural health professional. But in the case of your kidneys, it's very important. The reason is that the kidneys are damaged. And when the kidneys are damaged to a certain point, they can't make all the hormones and do all the things that they need to do to control your blood pressure. And blood pressure meds have been around for decades and decades and decades. We have more than thousands of studies on this. And so we know which ones can be beneficial which ones will help and the right combinations. And that's where having a good nephrologist comes into play. So you wanna use those medications, you wanna keep your pressure down, and you wanna see a good doctor to get those because a lot of options out there, and maybe some don't work for you, maybe you don't like the side effects, you can always switch to something else. But it's important to do that, as well as the dietary things like keeping salt, but you wanna take two nutrients if you've been diagnosed with this because you wanna help protect the kidney further and also add any support you can to helping keep your blood pressure lower. So what are those two nutrients? First one is magnesium. Now you wanna take magnesium up to 400 milligrams a day. You can take any form of magnesium except magnesium oxide or magnesium citrate. Not that those forms are bad, but they're more for your gut health than they are for absorbing into your body and helping your blood vessels. So what magnesium does many many things in the body it's safe to take with kidney disease even if you go high on your levels of magnesium it's still shown not to be a problem you can back off with the magnesium but up to 400 milligrams a day and it's very anti-inflammatory helps relax your your arteries and vessels so your blood pressure can be a little lower it also helps with complications of kidney disease so it's really good and important to take up to 400 milligrams you can use like a magnesium glycinate which is fine magnesium picolinate, magnesium lactate, these are all fine. I like magnesium glycinate, it absorbs well, a lot of products out there. Now, second thing that you should take is CoQ10, okay? CoQ10 at 200 milligrams per day, this fat-soluble nutrient, really helps with a lot of the complications and issues when you have kidney problems. It's anti-inflammatory, it helps antioxidants, it helps combat cell damage, kidney cell damage. It's also great for helping the the heart complications, the cardiovascular events that are prone to happening with kidney issues. It also helps preserve kidney function. So what you wanna do if you've been diagnosed with high blood pressure, kidney disease, hypertensive nephropathy is take all the medications you need to, get it under control, take magnesium and take the CoQ10. Okay, really important to take. A lot of other supplements, things you can do, but those are two core ones that have shown real benefit when it comes to your kidney health. So thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the hundreds of other videos we have. Bye.